The increasing effects of desertification will unarguably continue to generate concerns and intervention from government and international donor funding agencies around the globe because of its impact on the environment. In view of the persistent devastation caused by desert encroachment on land, particularly in the Sahel region of Africa, the concerns shown by different groups and donors have been consistent, but the intervention by the EU-funded, optimized implemented, improving the fuel wood balance in seven selected local government areas in Kassina State has been remarkable and exemplary. The Sub-Saharan African region has seen rapid geometric growth in population. This growth has put great pressure on the little and non-existing infrastructure for good livelihood, especially in the rural area which lack basic amenities. As a result, the populace compete for agroforestry produce and resources for livelihood and survival. Indiscriminate cutting down of trees for fuel wood energy and clearing of farmland for agricultural purposes as a means of survival and livelihood became a norm, resulting in communal clashes and deforestation. Deforestation causes desertification and helps to speed up the rate of desert encroachment. Each year, Nigeria loses approximately 351,000 hectares of land to advancing desert. Land-related conflicts account for more than 50% of communal clashes experienced in Nigeria from 1991 to 2005. According to World Energy Outlook, in 2011, 1.2 billion people lack electricity while 2.7 billion others depend on traditional fuel wood and animal dunk for cooking. An approximate 4.3 million deaths are recorded annually as a result of exposure to household air pollution. And this is according to the World Health Organization. A vast majority of these cases are recorded in the rural developing area of Sub-Saharan Africa and Asia. The activities of the FUBA project for about five years has positively demonstrated that with effective coordination, supported by strong buy-in of beneficiaries and stakeholders, planting about 7.8 million assorted trees on over 154,000 hectares of land, supported with production and dissemination of over 65,000 efficient clean cook stoves could be possible. The interesting question is how tree planting and maintenance were made possible and what makes the EU-funded Lot 2 project an exemplary model. The European Union delegation in Nigeria and the Federal Government of Nigeria through the Federal Ministry of Budget and National Planning granted approval to Oxfam and International Center for Energy, Environment and Development, ICED, to implement a four-year grant action titled Improving the Fuel Wood Balance in seven local government areas of Bauri, Daura, Dutsi, Meadua, Mashi, Sendemo and Zango in Kassina State. Simply known, called and addressed as FUOBA. The project seeks to intensify farmer managed fuel wood production through a project management unit situated in Castina State. The PMU works in collaboration with ministries, organized local NGOs, and CBOs. Following the impressive impact and buy in by beneficiaries, the FUOBA project had a no cost extension to January 2020. The FUBA action has two components, agroforestry directly implemented by Oxfam in Nigeria 
and clean cook stove implemented by International Center for Energy, Environment and Development, ICED. The overall objective of the project is to sustainably improve the fuel wood balance and resilience of livelihood of rural households in the seven benefiting local government areas in Castaner State. The project was mandated to first increase wood supply by establishing farmer managed natural regeneration FMNR and other sustainable agroforestry models with more than 5.5 million additional trees planted or maintained generating income for beneficiaries in target area whilst reducing fuel wood demand through dissemination and use of firewood efficient stoves secondly to produce and disseminate 35,000 units of fuel wood reduction stoves to target households in the project LGAs. Thirdly, it is expected that by the end of the project period, a target population of 275,000 direct beneficiaries of 55,000 households will initiate and maintain appropriate agroforestry models. The aim is to increase fuel wood efficiency in these households significantly through the manufacture and use of fuel wood reduction stoves. Oxfam is a global movement against inequality by alleviating hunger and poverty. By promoting SMEs, improving rural empowerment and providing access to credit and management information system. The objective is to build a resilient and sustainable livelihood in rural communities. Oxfam tackles inequalities that make and keep people poor. It saves and protects lives in times of crisis and strives to provide lasting solutions for genuine and durable change. International Center for Energy Environment and Development, ICID, provides a platform to address climate change through innovative energy policies reform, increasing the productivity and prosperity for the less privileged in Nigeria. ICID's strength lies in partnership as it works with progressive Nigerians and international research centers, government agencies, specialists and entrepreneurs for improved livelihood. Furthermore, it builds multi-stakeholders platforms to respond to energy and climate change that affects the poor. The beauty of the project is that has set objectives and goals were not only achieved but superseded. Let's understudy the scorecard of the FUBA project before we see the how they were able to achieve such milestones. That started with has been em em empowered to take up businesses and then they have been empowered in their entrepreneurial, that is permanent entrepreneurial, because they were found making irrigation permanent, they were energized by giving some incentive that will help to boost their production. They were also found rear livestock and they were geared. They were also empowered by producing a lot of trees that will give milk and food products to their livestock. Besides that, it avoids conflicts. It has minimized the conflict resolution that we have been encountering. Now they have become friends. Farmers and headmen are friends. They are in one group, they are helping one another. And the BLSA, that keep much to their benefit because it has harmonized our people and they have been helping one another. The impact of the EU-funded FUBA project has been enormous and obvious. Indeed, the project has linked its activities to the success of sustainable development goals, majorly on goals number two that hammers on zero hunger. Goal number seven on affordable and clean energy. Goal number eight on decent work 
and economic growth. Goal number 13 on climate actions and partly on goals number 9, 11 and 12 that hammers on industries, innovation and infrastructure, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production respectively. Indeed, the FOBA project initiatives qualifies for a global scaling up.